Yo, 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 what up, though, man? Trav Mueller in the building. What's good, my boy? What's going on? Welcome to New York City. Hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be out here. You know, it's fast-paced, man. Right, right, yeah, that's the city that never sleep. A right. At all, man, because you know what, man? Outside of my um, outside of my hotel, man, the whole night, you just hear yeah. shit crashing, bam, and everything, man. Yeah, man, especially if you buy the train, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, a wrap. But I'm here, man. What, what part of New York you you from? I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, man. Yeah, East New York. Okay. Being from Brooklyn, man, who are some of the notable people coming from East New York? From uh, Brooklyn? Uncle Murder, you know, um, you got like Handsome Baller, you know, a couple of people and around like me growing up that was really making noise was those, those cats from East New York, for real, for real. More, it was a lot of more artists too, but I feel like, you know, East New York is right next to Brownsville. Gotcha. So Brooklyn is like big but small too. So we right next each hood is like right next to each other. So if you from East New York, you probably fuck with some people from Brownsville and you just, you know, rotating through the hoods for real, for real. So if you, you know artists working with artists from different areas. Got you. So that's like a you know, a lot of the woo guys from Brooklyn and stuff like that, connecting with other guys from different areas, making music. That's how it just got bigger and bigger after the over the years, you know? Got you. Yeah. Can kind of break that down and, and we we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But like the whole the whole woo and the cho, yeah, bloods and Chris, man, like yeah. I never realized like New York was such a gang oriented type of place. I always thought New York yeah. was like the place of the hustlers. Like you probably had like clicks. Right, right. But like yeah. you see an infiltration of Chicago now, gangs, New York gangs, et cetera. Like for people that don't understand it for real, it's like teams now. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's like you could be blood, crit, whatever you want. It's like it's teams of them now. So it's either this team against that team and that team. So that's what made it so confusing and yeah. a lot of beef and dissing. You could be with somebody that's still another person's op. You know, it's just so weird now. So. But that's really what it is. It's more territorial, a bunch of different gangs just teaming up with each other for real, you know? Now, I notice you always try to pride yourself of um, being neutral. Right. Like, how, how do you make that happen in in this, pay, in this place, in this space? Because mm. now that kind of like Chicago gang culture kind of infiltrated everything, it's now more of a pick a side. Yeah. It ain't no neutral. Like, if right. you do a song with NBA Youngboy, you probably canceled out your chances of doing a song with Dirk. Yeah. Like, yeah. how do you stay neutral and conduct business without picking a side or forced to pick a side? Um, <clears throat> I feel like so far I've been doing a great job because I'm neutral, you know, and I know a lot of people that I really make music with, work with, have a lot of ops. And around that, at the end of the day, I'm not just an artist. So I engineer, I songwrite, gotcha. I get people beat placements, all these things. So a lot of these gang members is coming to me, not just for because you around certain people, just I know what you do. Yeah. Let's work. You feel me? So I'm more working. And when I know what I'm doing that, I'm not bringing other people business here. That's when you start mixing up business. You know what I'm saying? So when I work with people, I keep it direct to this is what we're doing. Miss that. Like, I don't keep it to other shit going on. You got to ask me questions about all. But that's where, you know, you're not business no more. It starts becoming more of, all right, so what's just going on with other people, you know? Yeah. So I, I divided that to just straight music is what I'm a guru for. And I'm really good at the social media networking and stuff like that. So most of the artists be hitting me up on those notes. Like, I need branding, marketing, promo, and all that stuff. So we helping a lot of artists with that. You know? So with that being said, does this prevent you from ever building like a personal relationship with some of the guys that you <clears throat> that you work with? Yeah. So I feel like it, it kind of made it easier for me to work with them because they know that what I'm notable for, credible for, like they feel like I could do the job. So they're going to come to me more than just wanting a relationship, you know, because I feel like I could build relationships and... They'll be genuine with everyone I build it mm -hmm. with, but they just wouldn't probably like people that I'm with. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to keep it to where I'm not stepping on nobody's toes and stuff like that. You know? What if um, you know, the idea is just like, yeah, okay, cool, play neutral, 
you can be cool. You can be with my ops. But if I'm somewhere and I catch a drop on my op and you just so happen to be with them, you collateral damage. Yeah, and that's real life. That's real life. Like, shit like that happens, too. You can be at the wrong place, wrong time, all that. But I make sure, like, when I do business, I'm not just hanging around. Like, you don't just catch me outside with a bunch of gang members I don't know and I'm working with them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's always like, I make sure the situation is smart, makes sense, and that I'm not jeopardizing myself, too. Because I still, I still am a brand, you know what I'm saying? And I'm well-known right now in New York, too, so... No, it's a lot. As much as people know a lot of these drill artists, they know who I am, especially from the UK. So, you know, just keep it. I just keep it to where I'm around a lot of gang members, but everybody do their own thing. They trying to, you know, get far in their areas of New York City because everybody's from different areas. You got Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. So, you know, all these big, big radars. 